Hey everyone, I'm Pete, and this is the Analog MEMS Microphone Breakout VM2020. It's a new MEMS microphone um, that actually has a super high acoustic overload point, so it can handle really loud environments. A lot of our previous MEMS mics top out at about 120, 130. This one goes up to 152. So we're gonna talk about some of the specs on this and then jump into a rather large demo for such a tiny breakout board. Cool, so here we have the VM2020 MEMS microphone by Vesper. Uh, like I said, this is designed for loud environments. So it's pretty unique in that it has an acoustic overload point of 152 dB. This also has differential output. So that means it's got a plus version and a minus version of the audio, and those are broken out to 0.1 inch headers. The frequency range is 80 hertz to 10 kilohertz. Power for this goes from 1.6 volts up to 3.6. Typically, most setups we've used is, is 3.3. Pretty small supply current needs, uh, just 248 microamps. The output impedance on those differential output lines is 1.1K ohms. So you wanna make sure the next stage in wherever you're putting that has a comparable impedance. And then another thing to consider with MEMS microphones is the signal to noise ratio, also known as SNR. So this microphone has an SNR of 50 dB, which is actually a little bit lesser performance than some of our other MEMS microphones, but that's a sacrifice you have to make when uh, being able to accept such a loud environment. A final spec on this I wanna mention is the sensitivity is negative 63 dBV. Uh, this is a little less sensitive than some of our other MEMS microphones, but again, it's a sacrifice you have to make in order to accept such loud environments. So for the demo today, we're actually gonna blast some pretty loud sine wave sound straight into two different microphones and compare the outputs. But to give all these numbers a little context, I'm gonna talk about them a bit on the dry erase here. All right, so um, dB is a number that we use to describe the volume of sound. And so down at zero dB, this is what we technically describe as like the weakest sound that you can hear as a human. So I'll just put weakest. Okay, and then we're gonna take this all the way up till where this microphone can here and beyond, just to talk about these numbers a bit. Uh, normal conversations at about 60 dB. Convo. Okay, so we're climbing up the ladder here. Um, once you get up to 90, this is where you start getting hearing loss. So that's not so nice. When you have sustained volumes of 90. Um, above that, 115, here's an example of a 115 dB. This is like a rock concert. So I hope you're wearing earplugs when you go to Red Rocks. Um, way up above that, 140 is a jet engine. I would not want to stand right next to a jet engine without some of these on. In fact, today for the demo, we're all gonna wear these ear, uh, ear protection muffs. Okay, and then right at, uh, just above that 150, we find our microphone. That's pretty cool. Technically 152. Um, so this thing can handle some pretty loud environments. Up above that, we've got a shotgun. And what does it say? Uh, 165 for that. That's pretty loud. Um, and then at 180, they call it the death of hearing tissue. Oh, that's way too loud. Oh my gosh. And then actually one fun fact too, is that the loudest sound possible and I'm guessing that this is due to physics, not my strongest area, but uh, 194 dB. So 194, oh, my pen's running out. Come on, oh. Yeah, I don't know what could possibly produce that, but if you do know, please comment below. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, we are 
pretty much nearing the top end of all sound here with this microphone. It's pretty fun, pretty unique. Um, today, we're going to play some sine waves through my speaker system. I have a little dB reader here too, so we can kind of verify against a calibrated dB reader how loud it's actually getting. Um, and we're gonna watch one of the previous MEMS microphones we've already, we've already sold for a while. And that one is the SPH8878. So the 8878, ah. Let's see if I can get another pen. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna compare two microphones. One of them is a previous MEMS microphone that we still sell. Um, it is the 8878 by Knowles. And then there's this new one by Vesper, which is the VM2020. And so we have both of these hooked up roughly the same area on my breadboard here and we're gonna run that through the SparkFun audio codec breakout and then analyze the outputs uh, on a scope. We'll see both of those. And we're also gonna utilize this um, Redboard IoT to analyze the volume and watch some of that on Serial Plotter too. That is currently example 15 in the library for the audio codec. Um, and I kinda wanted to draw out what we're gonna see before we give it a shot, but maybe I don't wanna give it away. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so we are pretty much set up here. Uh, we're gonna play a really loud sine wave through my PA speaker here into two different microphones, like I mentioned. Um, I've got my DB reader here to show us how loud it actually is right now. And wouldn't you know, we're just having conversation and it's bouncing around 50 to 70-ish. Yeah, there it is, 60 on the chart. So that's pretty cool, this is working. Um, I've got both of the outputs of the microphones going into the codec, getting some gain, because that is a controllable gain stage. And then we're watching the outputs on two different channels on my scope. So we're gonna basically ramp up this sine wave until it gets super, super loud. And we're gonna watch the signals go and see what happens. All right, so um, first, of, first things first, I'm gonna put these on, all right? You wanna come get a close up of this here sucker. So, channel one um, is the yellow, and that is the VM2020. Channel two is the blue, and that is the uh, 8878. So here, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna increase the volume kind of slowly. You can see as I'm talking near the mic, there's some sound coming into the scope so on the phone too. Watch this, all right, here we go. Okay, I brought it up to about 109 there. That was what my reader was showing. And did you see how this, the blue sine wave was like nice and smooth and then it started to flatten out at the top? And that's actually what's clipping. So let's do it one more time here. Yep. So right at about 109, I'm starting to see the 8878 start clipping. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably yelling with these on. <laughs> um, so the clipping that we're seeing there is actually caused by the gain stage on the breakout board. The 8878 claims to have an uh, acoustic overload point at about 125. And so my reader was showing 109, right? That doesn't really make sense. That's because the output of that microphone is going into an op amp on the breakout, and then that's actually what's clipping. Um, and that's okay. Um, having that gain stage is actually really nice because you can use that microphone to pick up softer sounds across the room. Uh, but what we're interested in today is taking it up to the max. So I'm gonna see just how, well, this time when we do the demo, I want us to watch the yellow line, which is in there as well. And that's the output from the VM2020. So we're gonna go a little bit above 109. Hopefully we don't distract too many people working in the office today. Okay, so I only did it for a little bit there because it's incredibly loud. Even with these on, I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, I saw this get up to 129. 
that's awesome. I was doing some testing yesterday and I couldn't get, quite get it that loud. So I'm glad that the spacing of the speaker and everything's working out pretty good. And I didn't see the yellow one clip at all. It was still a smooth sine wave. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Um, well, meanwhile, the blue one was turning into like basically a square wave. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to show on the scope. Um, I have one more thing to share. Um, in addition to the sound coming out of the codec into the scope, I'm also taking the digital audio, um, I2S audio from the codec into the IoT Redboard and printing that on a serial terminal. So we can also kind of watch this similar effect happen there. Let's go ahead and put some sound into this and see what it looks like on the plotter. All right, so that one's probably a little bit harder to see in the serial plotter there than we saw in the scope. The scope's a little cleaner and it's representing the analog signal a little more true. But um, this is actually using the I2S digital audio straight from the codec. Um, and it's a great way to get amplitude of your sound. So it, it takes a chunk of the audio and then it creates a mean of the value of those amplitudes and prints them. Um, so that's why it doesn't quite look as nice as the sine wave because it's kind of just spitting out the amplitude means. Um, and so I've got both microphones plotting here. And what we saw there was one of those um, amplitude plots was getting maxed out, and that was the um, 8878. And then the other one was able to keep getting larger and larger, and that was the VM2020, accepting a, a much louder signal there. And I didn't watch what we were at there, but I think my graph actually here doesn't quite have the, has the same, um, I guess we can't quite watch as large of a window as we saw on the scope there. So I was kind of maxing it out real quick. Let's do it one more time and uh, take a look at both of the, the outputs and see what they're doing. Okay, so that was pretty fun. <laughs> that time we took it up to 125, um, and you could see that the, um, the yellow one was clipping out on the, the readout there, and, and the green one was much wider, and it was still maintaining the signal through the system. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show about this cool new mic. Um, if you've got a project where you want to analyze some really loud sounds, this is the mic for it. Uh, hit up sparkphone.com and pick up a VM2020 breakout. That is actually due to the microphone's um, gain stage that's built into the, sorry, yeah, <laughs> keep looking down there. Are any of these ones good? This one is a per permanent marker. Don't want to use that one. Um, sorry. This All right, so we've got our demo set up here. And basically my laptop's playing a super loud sine wave through this speaker. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong yeah, camera. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs>